Right, you guys got another video should you upgrade to windows 11 25 h2 that's what we're going to be looking at today now if you're wondering when 25 h2 is going to be released it already has microsoft are pushing this out to customers uh, slowly and you can see on their main website download windows 11 has now been updated to windows 11 version 25 h2 that means that you can't download Windows 11 24H2 from Microsoft anymore officially on their website. It has now been updated to 25H2. That means it is being rolled out. That means it's being rolled out to the general public in stages. So you might not see uh, the Windows 11 version 25H2 visible inside your Windows update panel here, like you can see on the screen. Don't worry, it will show up there eventually if you have all of your settings set to normal. For instance, if you've been pausing Windows updates, you might be slower to receive this particular update because obviously it's been paused. Or if you've been tweaking Windows, you may not see this at all because some people complain that they don't receive updates from Microsoft. And maybe that's because you've been messing around with your settings and setting it to manual or whatever it is that you've been doing on your PC. This will be visible like this very very soon but should you wait or should you roll out the update that's what we'll talk about today so on the windows 11 version 25 h2 known issues there's only two being shown here and uh, that's because microsoft have had all of their bugs on 24 h2 and they've literally fixed a lot of those bugs now and it's now made 25 h2 sort of bug free so you shouldn't see many problems now the update for version 25 h2 is not as big as you might think it's not packed with tons of features in this particular update so microsoft have rolled this out and you can see there's a couple of fixes and workarounds for the two problems that have been listed so you might be expecting bundles of features in this particular build and there isn't it's just a a little update that you're going to download and install on your system but again it is pretty stable from what i've been seeing and what i've been using on my virtual machine so do i recommend you update to windows 11 25 h2 and the short answer to that is yes you should because i do believe that the issues that you're seeing here have been migrated over this is some digital tv and blu-ray dvd applications might experience problems playing protected content so that's one issue and the other issue is to do with installed updates via the WUSA client so you can see here windows update standalone installation uh, so if you're not using these features then obviously you're going to be fine and these issues have migrated over from 24h2 and one of these issues is already near enough resolved so you're only going to have one issue and if it doesn't affect you you should be fine now, if you look at Windows 11 version 24H2 known issues page, you're going to see there is quite a few uh, different uh, issues here that have been resolved. Now, Microsoft are saying that you should roll out the upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2 there. And that's because uh, they fixed a lot of the issues on this version. Now, it's uh, been going on for some time. There's been quite a few issues, as you can see here, migrated resolved externally migrated resolve 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 you can see quite a few of them have now been resolved so the update for windows 11 25 h2 is only a small update you will see new features being added to this later on down the line in stages and that is where problems might arise but we can cross that bridge once microsoft start to roll out those updates for those new added features you can always hold off on them but as it stands right now, the version 25H2 is pretty stable and it's okay. Now, if you're using older versions of Windows 11 that have reached end of life, then obviously you should start upgrading your system right now. You shouldn't be using outdated versions. You can always check the end of life uh, website here and you can see it will give you a full blow for blow exactly how long these versions are going to be around. And you can see uh, right here, the 25H2 is going to be around till 12th of October 2027. So it's two years before it ends life. If you're looking to stay on Windows 11 24H2, you should be looking at 13th of October 2026. And if you're on Windows 11 23H2, that ends on the 11th of November 2025. So you've only got 
uh, a little while before the end of life is reached for 23H2. So you might want to consider rolling out an upgrade to the next version or jump that version and go straight to 25H2. I just think where Microsoft have had such a bad rap with 24H2, people are a little bit dubious about updating or upgrading to the next version and are just literally not looking forward to upgrading their version of Windows and they just want a stable version. And I do believe that Windows 11 24H2 now is pretty stable and so is Windows 11 25H2. So if you're on an older version of Windows 11 like 23H2, you might want to start planning an update. Either skip 23H2 and go straight to 25H2, you can do that. Or you can just roll out your updates and go right the way through and you should be okay. Make sure you back up all your data before you run any sort of feature update like that, just in case something goes wrong. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and what version of Windows 11 you're on and whether you're thinking about updating your version of Windows. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.